guys? Hello, how you doing? I always love following Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> so, what can you describe as a tone for season two? Because, you know, like Gotham City itself, you know, it's always, always going to be dark and only get darker. But, like, what, how is the show going to be like in, this, in the second season in terms of tone? Like, you know, what, 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 what kind of goal does it have? Um, I would say that season one of the show is uh, huge. Well, a lot of it is in your first season of the show, you're trying to find the show. And it was a bit more of like a case of the week to a degree. Mm -hmm. And we started becoming more serialized as the show went on. And season two, the show would be fully serialized. So it, it would not be any case of the weeks at all. It'd be like literally watching the saga of these characters' lives on like one long um, season of basically a story that we follow through. Um, so to become more, much more kind of character specific and less like uh, solving any particular cases. Um, and I think there's also the element in season one when you watch season one, Gotham. The way, our conception of them was it was a city dominated by like the Falcons and the Maronis and the mob world that we kind of lived in. And season two, we'll see the underworld shift and we'll make that evolutionary shift towards like the beginnings of the world, world of supervillains and like where do they come from, and then setting the the stage for what happens later. When we ended with uh, the Batcave, uh, mm. we're finding it's like, will we, can it you tease us? <laughs> <Never know. laughs> like, can you tease any of what might be down there, those wonderful toys you might have down there? Yeah, you know, when they go down into that, that underground compartment, <laughs> uh, you know, Bruce will uncover what his father was up to um, before his death. And it'll be part of an investigation which will give him Clues, mostly, mostly to his father's death, but also then what was going on inside this kind of like mystery slash cabal inside Wayne Industries, and I'll also get let him kind of revisit his idea of who his dad actually was, which will then change his vision of who he's going to become going forward, and uh, giving him an integral piece of what becomes uh, the persona of Batman. So. Can you give a little? And he finds like you know like knickknacks, <laughs> giant penny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can you give a little tease um, for Tigress, the intro that we'll receive for her? Yeah, she comes in, um, she is the sister, she and Theo, she's the sister of a guy named Theo Galavan. So the two of them are come, come together as a brother and sister villain team at the very beginning. Um, and Tigress is, um, she's a bit, uh, demented is the wrong word, vicious, I would say, <laughs> and homicidal. And she is going to kind of function in a way as a proto-Catwoman. Um, in the way she moves and her weapons of choice. Um, and a young Selena Kyle will see her, and you'll see her like starting to put together the pieces that will then later go, Selena, Selena will go, oh, I like that whip. I think I might want something like that. And you see how she starts to use that to go forward. So. What time period is the show technically set in? Because you see cell phones and all that, but it has It's not specific? It has yeah, we never said. <laughs> and everyone's asking me, ask that. <laughs> Yeah, I know. We know. We deliberately made it non-specific, okay. so you couldn't tie it to anyone, because we wanted it to be our world, but not our world. Right. You know, and if we didn't tie it to a particular time and place, it, is, it gives you just that small fissure with reality, where you think you can bring in things that have an elevated reality because it's not tethered to any time and place. Okay. So we tried to like. So it's your own we try time? to confuse everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's our own time. Well, you're succeeding. It's Gotham time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I was wondering if we could go back to the, um, sure. talk about the serial, serialized format of the show. Yeah. Um, something I've noticed in the, the later half of season one was that you started having like multiple arcs. You know, you had a few episodes. You had yeah. Milo Ventimiglia, for example. So, is that kind of the type of serialization you're going with, or are you can go with you know, here's a big bad for all 22 episodes, or are you going with you know, well, here's five episodes of said villa, then here's four episodes of that villa, and so on and so on. Uh, we're going to the uh, the big bad shape. It'll be there will be a big a season long bad guy. So he's not really a bad guy, he's misunderstood. <laughs> season long misunderstood. So it's a he, it. we know that. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, but within that, we will have blocks. Like, you know, like, kind of like a two or three episode arc. Because yeah. it's like it, like when you used to watch like like Buffy, you know, like in Buffy, like the, the mayor would be the big bad for season three. Mm. But even within that, you would have like an episode where she was doing something else, but the mayor's saga story was always pushing forward throughout. There's always someone connected. In, like, even though if the big bad isn't there, then they may play a threat or two. Exactly. Somewhere. That, that's the kind of shape we're looking at. 
sorry. Are there any parts of Manhattan you haven't gotten to play with yet that you're looking forward to? It's a good question. Um, yeah, yes, absolutely. I mean, we've shot in all five boroughs at this point, you know. Um, but there are so many great places, and we've never shot in the sewers in Manhattan, okay. which I think it, it's, it's you know, logistically incredibly difficult to do that and very expensive. Um, the Strain, I feel like, has some sewer sets that they use that they have not let us use. But <laughs> yeah, if we could shoot in there, I think that would be really cool. There's some great old like graveyards you know, that would be great in. Yeah. I'd love to shoot in the Koi 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 I work in a bar if you need a bar. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> let me know. We'll hook it up. There, yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, there's, I mean, all, that, all the great old the history there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So the Highline, honestly, is a little bit too nice. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Are you coming? They're pulling me away. Is Montoya and Alan coming back at all for season two? Um, they, we don't have plans to yet, but we'd like to see them again. Okay. Yeah.